Hello and welcome back. This time we do want to get out uh, data from different tables and we want to, to put them aside. So that we don't want to do it like last time, like with Union, where we had one type of data and let it make appear like it would come out of one data but different lines. Now we want to have two attributes in different tables which appear as two attributes but looking as one table result okay so what we want to do is we want to join different tables to each other different attributes of different tables to each other we want to join them okay and this is exactly the command join yeah. we'll see there are different joins We'll discover a little bit the, the the differences. Yeah. But first let's just try uh, a simple command first. Let's start simple again. This is our status. Yeah? There is a legal guardian list, there's a student's list, every student has two legal guardians, or maximum two. And I want to know for each student which legal guardians he has. So, of course, I could do a select students, look at the legal guardian IDs, and then I do a select in the legal guardian database, in the legal guardian list, and see who is that. But I want to select this into one table. I want to have it written next to each other. So. What is the what is the correct command? We will start with select. Should be no surprise. And then, since the data is coming out of two different tables in our case, I have to specify which table. Why I have to do this? Because a table a column name is only unique in one table. In two tables, there might be two columns with the same name, yeah? one in that table and one in the other table. So I need to specify the table also. Yeah? So we want from student list, I want to have the forename. Student forename. Yeah? Then what else? I want from student list, I want the sure name. Sure name. Student list, student sure name. And from the legal guardian list, I also want to have the forename and the sure name. Okay? So, legal guardian legal guardian list legal guardian forming and legal guardian list legal guardian sure name which is I want to have these four columns I want to have. Two from student list and two from legal guardian list. Now, from where? Student list, of course. It doesn't really matter if I write here student list or legal guardian list. What's the first one? It doesn't really matter because I will join them anyway. Student list. Okay. Student list. And now, I type in join, now I join the second table, yeah, and this is the legal guardian list. Yeah. This we think it should work. Yeah. Let's see, let's see the result. Pickety. Huh? Quite a number. What we've got here, yeah, 
for each entry in the student list, see Heinz Pietoszowski, we got all entries in the in the legal guardian list. Mm -hmm. This gives us a little hint how join is working. Okay, join is working. It will read the first list, yeah, the first table, it will read the first table. And for each entry in the first table, yeah, this is also called left table. Yeah, that's important later. So the, the first one is the left one because it's written left. Yeah. And for each entry in the left table, join will get everything which is in the right table and join it. And this is what's happening. For every entry in the left table, we got every entry here in the right table. This is not what we wanted to do, right? This is not what we wanted to do. But at least it gives us a hint how, how join is working. Okay. What I need to do, uh, what I need to do is to, to uh, restrict somehow what, what is joined. Okay. I want, I need to tell, Hey, don't join everything. It's okay to join only some. Yeah. So what I'm going to do. I will again perform the same select statement, yeah? exactly the same what I did first, but now I'm writing further. I'm writing it, the join must not, aye, this is again not working because there is this, this, these signs here. So we'll, I will use simply from my script. Now that I know how I can cope and paste, it's easy from student list. Uh, this is exactly the command I've used before. And now I write on, on. And what's the condition? What's the condition? The legal, legal guardian list, the legal guardian list, yeah. the ID yeah, must be in another student list dot student legal legal guardian one okay so it can either be in legal guardian one or student list student legal guardian one yes or Mm. Now I'm ready. Now I say join only in case the legal guardian list, legal guardian ID is part of student legal guardian one or part of student legal guardian two. Enter. Looks much better. Much better. Yeah. This is what we intended to. I now wrote on. I now wrote on. Is this necessary? Is this necessary that I write? We got something before which was working pretty much the same. We got, if I change now this on to where, why not? Where? Back. It looks the same. Why the hell we have here another word which is doing the same? And we don't need, we don't, nobody wants us to get confused or what? <sighs> like uh, always, it's not that simple. There is a reason for this. What we've seen here, what we've seen here is a so-called inner join. We've seen an inner join. This means I only get the lines where this condition is met. 
but there are also outer joints. Yeah? Outer joint mean one of the table, at least one of the tables, is read entirely, yeah? and the other one is only read in case it fits, and if not, it shall return null. And there is the difference between on and where. If in the table nothing is found, where is returning nothing. And on is returning a null line. Okay? It's returning null simply. Let's, let's make a left join. Yeah? So called left join, left outer join. Yeah? So we use exactly exactly the same the same command yeah? but this time this time I will write only here. The only difference is this left here. Yeah? Before we only wrote join and now it's left. And go. What we see here? Yeah? We got everything, every entry from the left table. Yeah? So we got Heinz Bitterschowski, Mike Bitterschowski, Paul Paulsen, Karl Paulsen, Alter Knacker and Junge Hüpfer. Karl Carlsen also. I got every entry. Yeah? In case something is matching, I got here the correct names. In case it's not matching, yeah, I got null. And this null is returned by this on. Where there would be returned nothing. And it is not now with left join. It's not even possible to replace on with where. Complaining. Yeah. There is no where. Here we need to use on yeah? because we need these null lines. So the left join we have seen, left table fully there. Yeah? What will right join do? Just replace left with right. Now the left table. In the left table we see some nulls and in the right table we see everything which is in the right table. Yeah? In this case, the right table is the legal guardian table. And the rest is now. So left join, right join. Actually, it's left outer join and left and right outer join. I could also write here, right. Outer join working as well. But of course, why do I write this? We could also write inner join instead of join. This in and outer we can skip. You can write it, but not change anything. So don't write it, less to type. Okay. Left right join. Uh, in many, many database systems, we also have the, the possibility of using a full join, a full outer join. Then we get everything from the left table, everything from the right table, yeah? where they are matching the condition, we get it in one line, where not, we get null lines in the opposite. Yeah? We can try this, yeah? instead of right, we try it full, yeah? but Unknown column. Yeah. Full is not even working. Yeah. With a strange error message. Yes, full. Get it. Doesn't work. This is because MariaDB and MySQL also does not support this full join. Yeah. does not support this full join. However, 
We can, of course. We can, of course. Think or remember our last video with the union and can place a statement which we can use. And you will see it's logical. This is the left join. Okay. And now I make a union. Union is preventing that we are having double lines. Yeah. This is good. And now I do what we did before. I do the right join. Book. Now I have the full join. Okay, let's have a look again. Left join statement here, left join, right join statement, and in between we have the union. So we got one full join. And if I'm not using union, but if I'm using union all, we get even some lines double. I think this is also uh, logical now to us. Union all book. See, Heinz Bitoschowski, Ilse, Walter, doubled. Yeah. Because we said on union and all, and we got everything from the first request and everything from the last request. The first up to here, yeah, up to this line, it's the first request, that's the left join. And here, that's the right join. And this is the union. And if I'm not writing this all, the union will, the double lines will be filtered out. Let's join. Let's join. Great, isn't it? So now we can select distributed data from all over our tables, get them in one result and have it great right what do we want more now we get everything from our database read out yeah regardless where it's written we can have the student name and the address next to it yeah and not address at d good 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 so writing and retrieving data I think we've done uh, pretty much. Then now we go, we get to something more mathematical. Uh, we will count and sum and, and something like this because SQL can also do such things. Uh, but this then will be in next video. Right now, I think for this video it's enough. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye.